I am Ayat Shah, practicing consulting engineer, working extensively on construction projects, IT and residential projects, extensive experience on quality audit and auditing of complex infrastructure projects. We are today talking about structural audit of old buildings. Structural audit of old buildings. I.H. Shah, Consulting Engineer. Structural audit of old buildings is a serious business. People are staying here. The purpose is to save life and property. Yes, the structural audit helps to save life and property. This tutorial provides guidelines for the audit to step by step identify critical areas, to evaluate the risk involved and suggest ways to restore the building for safer living and is meant for construction people, premises users, housing societies, offices, schools, hospitals and public buildings. Let us consider a case study of an old building. I was inspecting part of a seriously damaged building. Suddenly, a little girl, about three years old, pulled my shirt from behind to draw my attention. Here, here, there is a big pit in my flat. Please see. She looked in my eyes and pleaded me to notice the sinking tiles in her flat. I turned my face and closely looked at a settlement of ground floor resulting into the sinking of tiles. The picture of the little girl staring at me haunts me whenever I go for structural audit. It is a tragedy that so many families live in unsafe buildings. Take a look at a building in a suburb of Mumbai. Look closely at the photograph. There is a settlement of flooring, tiles, creating a pit in the floor. This looks dangerous. Take a close look. Another photograph. Let us look at another photograph. Shows signs of settlement tilting of the building. This is serious. Can you imagine people staying in the building? Yes, people are staying. What about the anxiety and fear of people living here? Take a close look. Beyond repairs, the building is tilting. Foundations sinking and there are serious cracks in columns, beams, slabs. Yet, people are living here. The constant fear, the anxiety, the nightmare, the utter helplessness all provide a near-death experience. Who is responsible for this? The government, the municipal corporation or the society? Can structural audit help? Let us see how we begin. Now, what do you do to achieve your primary responsibility as an auditor to save life and property? How do you start? First step, collecting data year of construction, time taken to complete, building plans, structural drawings, material test data, occupation certificate, structural stability certificate, last structural audit carried out, type of foundation strata. Next, if data is not available, what do you do? Take measurements, prepare plans with wall locations, 
column sizes, make rough structural plans, inquire about foundation strata. Next step, visual inspection. How do you inspect? Make a checklist. Visit all apartments, record status of structural elements, minor cracks, major cracks, peeling of plaster, peeling of concrete, status of steel reinforcement. Further inspection, status of balconies, sagging, deflection, cracks, leakages from terrace, leakages from toilet blocks, leakages and dampness in walls. A few more photographs. Cantilever balcony found sagging. Supported on props. Take a close look. Is it not dangerous? Another photograph. Kitchen ceiling slab. Loose concrete and exposed rusted steel. Can you imagine a housewife cooking in this flat? Yes. Unfortunately, this is true. And it's shameful for the society that does not believe in maintaining their buildings. Take a closer look. Third step. Record changes carried out in the flats and toilet blocks. Type of changes made. Partition walls removed, shifted, structurally okay, waterproofing damage, leakages. Fourth step, check electrical wiring from meter room to all flats, substation status, dampness, cracks. Fifth step, check lift and machine room. Type of maintenance contract. Renewed. Last inspection by maintenance engineer. Ropes or any parts need to be changed. What is the life? 10 years. Lift shaft has cracks, dampness. Any other problem? Sixth step, check overhead and underground water tanks, leakages, cracks, frequency of cleaning, every six months. Next, check print protection, is it available, cracks, settlements, condition of paving, cracks, drainage lines, water lines, leakages, Drainage chambers, cracks, leakages. Look at this photograph. It shows serious cracks in the ceiling and the rusted steel. There are a few props. But is it safe? Another photograph. RCC column with loose concrete and exposed steel. Take a close look. The exposed rusted steel. Another photograph. RCC beam with serious cracks. There are no props provided. Is it dangerous? Another photograph. Take a close look. Loose concrete and exposed steel in major part of the building. Take a close look at this photograph. Major crack in RCC beam supported on props. Is it safe? Another photograph. Major crack in RCC beam supported on props. Next, uh, check external paint, present condition of paint. When, when was the building last painted? 
फाइव इयर्स टेन इयर्स बिफोर और नेवर पेंटेड नाउ लेट अस सी द हिस्ट्री ऑफ रिपेयर्स वेन वॉज द बिल्डिंग लास्ट रिपेयर वॉट वॉज रिपेयर डिटेल्स अबाउट द रिपेयर्स कॉस्ट ऑफ रिपेयर्स टाइम टूक टू रिपेयर वॉज द रिपेयर इफेक्टिव वी हैव कलेक्टेड ऑल पॉसिबल डेटा वॉट डू यू डू नाउ वॉट इज नेक्स्ट लेट एस इवेल्युएट द रिस्क हाउ डू यू डू दिस नंबर वन बालकनी सैगिंग एंड क्रैक्स रिस्क इन्वॉल्व इज हाई रिस्क columns serious cracks steel export risk involved is high risk beam sand slabs serious cracks steel expose terrace leaking risk involved is medium risk toilet blocks leaking medium risk external walls cracks medium risk no plinth protection medium risk foundation settlements high risk building tilting very high risk once you evaluate the risk how do you plan your strategy for repairs strategy for repairs minor risk can be repaired major risk can be repaired without vacating occupants major risks occupants need to be vacated for repairing very high risk not possible for repairs beyond repairs we have more questions what additional data you need what test you need to conduct to get more insight into your building with more data how do you evaluate that risk how do you repair which materials to be used at what cost what is the procedure for repairs how do you certify for future life of the building do you need auditing special skills soft skills do you need experienced professionals with specific expertise write to me on my email ihshah at constructionlearning.com structural audit of old buildings ihshah is a practicing consulting engineer working on major residential and commercial projects specializing as iso 9000 quality management consultant and has extensively carried out structural and quality audit of construction projects operates from his mumbai office india his website is www.constructionlearning.com thanks